Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my pros and cons of living in Kauai. Yes, Kauai of course is paradise, but once you get past that little honeymoon eye phase and you start living here, then you kind of see some of the cons that can come along with living here. Let's start off on a good note and start with 10 pros. Number one are the beaches, 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 and more beaches. I mean, I have traveled quite a bit, truly beautiful, magical places, but nothing in my eyes, in my opinion, compares to Kauai beaches. The water is warm year round. You can even go swimming in the winter, which gets to my number two, weather. The weather in Kauai is truly perfect year round. It's always warm and being born and raised in 19 years of my life in Massachusetts, you really go ahead and appreciate that warm weather. I will say this and my family will cringe if they're watching this, that there was a record low back in 2015 of 54 degrees in the morning. And I remember I was all bundled up, had the heat in the car and in like two hours, it was about 75 degrees, which is typical year round. Number three, the crime is low. There is no place you can honestly feel safer than Kauai. Your kids can go out and play. My mom, whenever she visits, says like, oh my God, it feels like the 1950s over there because, you know, the kids are outside playing in the cul-de-sac. You know your neighbors. And as a woman who's lived in multiple cities, I honestly feel super safe walking around any time of day by myself, day, night, you feel 100% safe. Number four. Most recreational activities are free. So you can snorkel, you can surf, you can go hiking, chase waterfalls, all for nothing. Number five, material things are just not a thing here. And maybe that's like not a big deal for somebody watching this, but living in LA for 10 years of my life and everyone needing fancy car and you know name brand this and that, that just doesn't exist here. You can meet some of the wealthiest people in Kauai and have no idea that they even have money because their get up is board shorts and slippers, also known as flip flops on the mainland. No makeup, your hair is not done because it's always under you know, a hat and sunglasses. You're just always prepared for the beach. Number six, there are virtually no poisonous creatures on Kauai. We don't have snakes or anything like that. The worst thing that can maybe happen is you being bit by a centipede, which I've never had, but I know people that have had a bite and they hurt like a beep. Number seven, the fruit and fish are so fresh. When you start eating fruit, especially on the mainland, it, it, it just doesn't compare. Mango is just juicy and watery and like, oh my God. And pineapple is just to die for. The fruit here at the farmer's markets, they give you little samples and stuff. Ugh, amazing. And the fish, ahi and marlin, it's just so incredibly delicious. You can like taste the salt water coming from the fish. Number eight, the nature in Kauai is truly, truly breathtaking, especially in the North Shore. I, I love the North Shore. You have these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful green lush mountains. And when you're out on the beach, it's just so amazing to see the, the mountains in the back. I mean, sunsets, sunrises, go to the West Coast. We have our own version of like the Grand Canyon. The whole island is so amazing. All your senses will thank you. Number nine, you can island hop. So you can get different kind of uh, flavors of things. You want to have that big city life. You could go to Oahu. You want to have go chase and look at volcanoes. You could go to the big island. Um, you have a variety of things and all the islands are different and special in their own way. Number 10, the grand finale of my pros is island time. Coming from a city, everything is just so chaotic. Everything's so fast forward. And, you know, you are taught to just kind of mellow out, you know, and, and you, you just go from like freak mode to, to just more mellowed out and you can stop and smell the flowers. And it's not a cheesy saying. I'm just not saying that for that reason. You get to literally stop and smell the most amazing flowers here in Kauai. They smell amazing. Now for the 10 cons of Kauai. My first con is just like my 10th pro, which is island time. So sometimes you actually do need to get done. You have work, you have 
projects you're building and you know you you make these meetings and times and people just either are so incredibly late which that drives me crazy i kind of feel like it's a slap in the face you're like making this time and set time and you put all your other stuff on hold for that time and then people either are like a half hour to an hour late or even don't show up so that's drives me crazy one of my biggest cons of Kauai. Number two is everything is truly, truly expensive. And I mean, very expensive, whether it's rent, which you're probably looking to spend about, you know, a grand on a studio, if you're lucky, more like 1200, especially if you're in the North shore or the South shore. Food, um, everything has kind of this import tax. Everything has to be flown to Oahu and then now to Kauai. So a dozen eggs is gonna cost you around, you know, 12 bucks. Soy milk that we used to get in Los Angeles is around like two bucks and change, but here it's five bucks. Pizza, yeah, regular pizza, you know, tomato sauce, cheese. You're lucky if you can find a nice cheese pizza for 18 to 20 bucks. Yeah, it's crazy. Utilities are expensive. Hawaii's power is the most expensive in the nation. Just to give you an idea, my monthly bill for power is never under 200 bucks. And mind you, the only things running on power are my tankless water heater, my stovetop, lights, computers, TV. I mean, we don't even have uh, AC or a heater. God forbid we'd have to get a second mortgage on our house. But yeah, everything's expensive. Number three, oh, you have Amazon Prime. Oh, we have Amazon Prime too. Oh, you get same day delivery even. Yeah, so our Amazon Prime is five to seven business days and we still pay the same amount of your Amazon Prime. So same thing. Oh, your appliance is broken. You need a replacement. Oh, we don't have it that at Home Depot in stock right now. So you're gonna have to wait mm, four to six weeks for it to arrive at the Home Depot. And then we'll call you for you to get the appliance delivered to your house. So if it's not on island, you will need to wait to get whatever you need. And the bigger it is, usually the longer the wait. Everything takes time. Number four, getting things fixed. Your appliance is broken, you have a plumbing issue, doesn't matter. You're going to be calling about 10 to 15 people. Yes, I wish that number were exaggerated, but no, it is not. And then you're going to be waiting about maybe a week or so for one, maybe two, if you're lucky to call you back. And I wish that was not an exaggeration either. And then once you finally find the diamond in the rough to come out and repair your thing, of course, it's expensive. Plumbers going right, it's probably like 90 bucks an hour here. My washer is down and broken. It costs 120 to have someone come look at it. It will not be included in repair. And my bill to repair the washer, 1500 bucks. Yeah, 1500 bucks. Number five, less choices. So you are going to go through every single restaurant on this island pretty quickly. And, and you tend to stick to obviously, you know, things in your area. So like the North Shore, you're really limited on choices. It's kind of funny, every anniversary and birthday will be like, okay, which one of the three fancy restaurants do you want to choose from this year? So just limited choices on things. Number six. Island fever, yes, it's a thing. Unless, of course, you're like a homebody, maybe it doesn't affect you as much, but we love to travel. And so maybe a good six month period, we can make it through. And then we feel like we need variety and need to kind of be able to go drive several hours, go on a road trip, go explore new foods and new things. But it's kind of funny because once you're off island, then of course, then you start missing Kauai and then you appreciate it all over again. Number seven, transportation. Bus, yes, it's super cheap, two bucks per adult. Kids ride free under seven, but it is not reliable. It's usually not on time and it only comes hourly. So if you miss it, you're gonna be sticking around for another hour. Taxis, they are expensive and the same thing, you're gonna be waiting around a little bit if you need to get from here to there. This is not like New York where you can just go flag down a taxi, you have to call them up, tell them where you are to then go to your next destination. You're gonna be waiting a while. Do have Lyft and Uber, 
It's fairly newer, but we have very limited amount of drivers. You'll most likely get a driver when you're at the airport, but once you cross into the North Shore or South Shore, you're going to be waiting, if there's even an available driver, minimum 20 minutes or more for the driver. Number eight. Remember, these are my pros and cons, so I think this is more of my own personal con. I don't know if this would be a con for everyone, but the monopoly on the internet. We only really have Spectrum, and they are constantly with outages, getting more and more expensive, and uh, they're the only provider that has fast speeds. We do have Hawaii Telecom, but at this moment, they only offer up to 11 megabits per second. 11 megabits might work for maybe a lot of houses, but we have multiple things going on at once, so 11 megabits isn't going to cut it. Please, Hawaii Telecom, increase your speeds. I will go with you guys. I just need faster speeds. Number nine, you have limited indoor activities. So if it's raining really, really, really hard, and again, this might be more so because I'm in the North Shore, everything's just an hour away. And even with that hour away, you're limited. You have like maybe bowling, arcade, um, you know, just limit. Even our movie cinema just closed down. And so we don't even have a movie cinema for us. Uh, they closed down because of the pandemic. So it's just limited amount of things to do indoors. And number 10, education. Again, if you don't have kids in school and you're solo, this is not going to be a con for you. Preschool was amazing, but it's expensive. So you're looking to pay around 800 per child to go to preschool. And then our elementary here in the North Shore is also wonderful and great. But once you hit middle school and high school, again, being in the North Shore, it's 40 minutes away. And unfortunately, the great school rating is pretty low. We do have private schools. But when you start looking into private schools, again, it's expensive. You're going to be paying anywhere between $800 a month up to $1,600 a month, depending where you go. And that's not including uniforms, fees, and uh, school supplies. So those are my pros and cons with beautiful Kauai. It is paradise, and you, you, you feel so incredibly safe. And especially if you have kids, it's like truly the most amazing place to raise your children. You know your neighbors. I lived in LA, like I said, for 10 years, and I didn't know any of my neighbors. In a small little condo, huge complex, and I did not know a single neighbor. But here, it's like you know your neighborhood, so you feel super safe and uh, healthy and active. It's, it's a really awesome quality of life, so the pros definitely outweigh the cons. A lot of my friends ask me how I made Kauai happen. How did I move here? And I'm just curious, is that a video that you guys would be interested in me making? Uh, let me know in the comments below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos where I talk about hosting and real estate and finance, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.